Hello my YouTube friend! Today I have a video that I'm really excited about. So like a month ago, I was in the Facebook group God Loves Comics. I was reading through the posts. This guy named Robert, he created the group. He likes to post a lot of comic covers in the group almost daily. He does a few posts. So he was posting a lot of French comics. French covers. So it was Marvel Comics. I think it might have been some like Star Wars comics, but it was mostly Marvel Comics. But translated into French from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And I believe in France, they actually reprint them in big, thick manuals. So it's like five to ten issues each time instead of single issues. So, and they're wonderful covers. What they do is they would take the American line art and then another artist would come in and actually like repaint it or paint over the line art and create a painted cover based on the American artwork, which I'm very familiar with American covers, but seeing the same exact covers, but painted and more dynamic and more interesting... Uh, I, you know, I love them. And I love the idea of collecting international comic books, collecting comic books from different countries and different parts of the world, just to see how other people experience comic books. So one of my life dreams really is to collect international comic books and international toys. So after a few days of him posting these covers, I was like, hey man, you know, if you keep posting these covers, I'm going to want to buy them all. You know, and he like was laughing and then this guy named Emmanuel, he posted, he's like, you know, I'm in France and in France, they have a special thing where they want to share the French culture around the world. So you can ship books really cheap. So he said, if you're interested in buying some French comic books, PM me. So I messaged him right away because I've been interested in buying foreign comics for a long time. I'm still interested. And if you guys are from other countries and you have interesting older Marvel or other comic books that you want to sell for a good price, just let me know because I really want to start collecting a lot more international comic books. So I contacted him and he had a collection of about 30 comic books. It might have been like 29, 30, somewhere around there. And he wanted $110 for the collection shipped to my address. So that's like three, three thirty-three a comic, something like that. Ah, oh, man, I was ready to jump on it. Because in the U.S., a lot of these, you have to pay like $10 each after shipping and all that. So I thought it was a great deal. I'm really excited to go through this package. I'm going to have a ton of fun. So I hope you guys have fun, too. I know not as many people are going to watch this video because it's strange. It's not American comic books. It's not Funko Pops. But it's something I'm really excited to go through. So you guys who like watching videos when I'm excited, this video is for you. So, Emmanuel, thank you again for selling me the comic books. I'm hoping that I'll be buying more comic books from you in the future. All right, let's dig into this package. Okay, let's dig into this package. It feels like he took a box and then he put like a bag around the box. So the box looks a little bit beat up, but I think it'll be okay. Because it's, you know, it's paper goods. It's hard goods. It's not really something that'll break so much. And I'm just really just happy to have them. I kind of dug in the end of the box and he has them all in bricks. So that they look good. I think we're going to be really good shape here. Oh. Oh, well, and they're all in different sizes. <laughs> I thought they'd be all the same size, but some are in the bigger normal French size I'm used to, like the Mobius books and all the hardcovers that they reprint here. And then there's some that are in like digest size. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, so we have like this size that seems like a standard American graphic novel size or comic size. That seems like the same size. This size is bigger. This is kind of like the normal comic size. And then we have a little teeny one. So let's start with the teeny ones. They're like little digest size ones. Oh, so excited for these. And I'm not, this is the kind of thing I'm, I don't read and speak French. So I'm not really collecting these to read. I'm collecting these to enjoy the artwork. And that's the main reason why I do collect comic books is I just love the artwork. Oh, these are so cool. Okay, I'm super excited. So the mini guys right here. Okay, so we have a Nova number 128. It's a Galactus Silver Surfer cover. I, I have no idea what issues it reprints, but it's from the mid 80s. It looks like mid 80s when the She-Hulk's on the team. So that is so cool. I really like the little borders have the little heads on them so that's different i think this is the same thing where they print reprint two or three different comic books so i'm seeing like silver surfer fantastic four a spider-man story and a silver surfer story not 100 percent sure but that is awesome okay we got nova number 127 we got a black suit spider-man cover again mid 80s i think 1986 this is so cool. So you got Fantastic Four, you got Spider-Man, and you got like a Silver Surfer storyline. 
So uh, that's cool. Okay, we have Nova 124, which, so I'm guessing every single one of these has a Fantastic Four, a Silver Surfer, and a Spider-Man storyline. So it reprints three different comic books. So that is so cool. I love this. Okay, that's awesome. We got Nova number 54. Oh, this one feels thinner. So the older ones must have been, like the newer ones are a thicker square bound, and then the older ones are thinner. We got a Spider-Woman cover, that's pretty cool. And let's see, we got Spider-Man and a Fantastic Four with Inhumans. So that's maybe two storylines. Oh, and some other little teeny storyline at the end. I don't know. That's super cool. Oh, Galactus cover. That's cool. So we have Nova number 31. Galactus without pants. That's how we love it. Spidey, Silver Surfer with Galactus and the Fantastic Four. All right, that's really cool. And then Nova number 17. So that's the oldest one, I'm assuming. Does it say the year? 1979 so this is all reprints 1970s marvel comics okay that is super cool but that's not the i wasn't really after the ones that just have new cover artwork i mean that's still really awesome to me and i love it i'm looking for the painted cover ones. so those are the ones that really caught my attention i know there's some in here let's go through this brick oh my gosh holy crud holy guacamole these are awesome okay now we have the strange special, and this is what I'm after. This beautiful, beautiful Dark Phoenix cover that I know there's an X-Men cover with this artwork, but not painted. Just a line art, normal comic cover. That is awesome. So we got X-Men storyline. Uh, all oh, One Spider-Man storyline. And uh, a thing, maybe Marvel 2-in-1. Not 100% sure. But again, I'm buying this because the covers are just amazing. So that's, uh, I'm not sure the number on that. Oh, number 33. So that's really cool. Oh, this one is cool too. Okay, so the other one is Titans. Another series I would like to put together. I just really love how they do the artwork on these covers. They're so beautiful. It looks more like uh, X-Men or New Mutants. So what year? This looks more like 80s stuff inside. It says 87. So we got... An uh, old school looking art cover by 87. So it's a newer comic. Still beautiful. Oh, this one's cool too. Okay. <laughs> Titans number 104. We have a New Mutants versus Sentinel cover. That is cool. So I guess the other one was also New Mutants because it looked like 80s New Mutants to me. Because that's kind of what I remember reading. And maybe X-Men, not sure. Okay, that is cool. I love that cover. That's awesome. Oh, and he also, he said he threw in some more modern comic books. So these were kind of throw-in ones. We got a Spawn comic, which, I mean, it looks cool. I like it. It's not really the main reason why I would buy a lot like this, but I still like it. And a Spider-Man team-up. This is also, I guess, mid-90s, I'm guessing. Spider-Man team-up number four. I don't see the date on it. So, I mean, these don't excite me as much just because the artwork isn't as exciting. But the 70s stuff or the 70s style, even though it's 80s, oh, I love it. Okay, let's open up the big size one. I think the X-Men covers are the ones I wanted the most. These are awesome. So, this looks like an Avengers comic book. It's graphic novel size. It's, uh, it just says it's Avengers. Not sure the number or anything, but it looks really cool. And it's got to be 80s again. 66 to 77 to late 70s so it's spider-man avengers so it's always it seems like every issue they mix up a few different comic books that's really cool but look at this one Penique, a new york so it's like the fantastic four. Oh my gosh i love this cover this cover i could just stare at it all day i love the thing i love the fantastic four. Oh, beautiful you know, and it's just the U.S. comics with French translations inside. So the inside, I have already probably, you know. It's not anything special. But these new covers, that's beautiful. I love it. Let's look at that a little bit longer. Oh, man, this one's awesome, too. Oh. Something about space. I don't know French at all, but I love this cover. You got the scrolls jumping in here, and you got the whole team kind of... Are they fighting with each other? I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. But this... This is amazing. Again, the interior, just a reprint of the 80s style stuff. So the interior is nothing too exciting to me. I mean, I love it. I still love it because I love this era of comic books. But the covers, wow. That is really what sells me. I'm definitely going to be looking for more of these. Because 
I've seen them online. They look beautiful to me and I always want them, but seeing them in person, I'm just, I'm blown away by how beautiful they are. Okay. Now the, let's open up like the normal comic size brick. Oh, okay. These are so cool. <laughs> Uh, oh, we have Marvel Presents Strange number 14. Ah, oh, I love that cover. We got Captain Marvel. I don't know who that is. Like a Cyclops something. I don't know who that guy is. But you got Spidey. Oh, this looks like an older reprint. Because the artwork's cool inside. This is a lot more exciting inside as well. And, okay. So that's, that's that issue. That is beautiful. Oh, this is cool. This is, uh, I don't even know what the cover is, but it's a cool sci-fi cover. Oh, it's Star Wars, okay. <laughs> it's Star Wars and then it's some other random, I guess it's a Dazzler, but what was in between? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but that's awesome. I love that, that's Titans number 40. Okay, we have Spidey number 30. That's a really cool cover. Looks like an old X-Men, not 100% sure. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this cover. Look at this cover. Strange number 163. We have a really cool Iron Man cover. I love it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> Oops. Let me put these here. I don't want them to fall over. Uh, okay. Okay, we have Strange number 132. An awesome Daredevil cover. I love this cover. This cover is beautiful. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't wait to buy more. Oh, my gosh. This Dark Phoenix cover. That's beautiful. I love it. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, oh see, look. This is probably the original artwork from... I don't know which X-Men it was reprinted from. But the artist took that artwork and then they painted it. That's what I mean by them taking the standard artwork and turning it into a new cover. So the original cover wasn't even this. It was the splash panel from an issue. So that's amazing to me. I love it. Oh, and I like the Dark Phoenix character. So that's, this is a wall worthy display comic book. Oh, cool. Another one. Okay. We have Special Strange number 31, Dark Phoenix again. That's beautiful. Is that another splash page? Not sure. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. I love that. Oh, <laughs> this one's awesome too. We got the new X Men, favorite era X Men, all the Chris Claremont stuff. Oh, I love that. Oh, these are so cool. You know what's fun, too? The interior, how they represent it. I see. Like, this splash panel, the way this looks, that reminds me of Tintin comic books. And Tintin, a French comic, is my favorite French comic. So that's so cool. Oh, <laughs> this one's awesome, too. Look at that. So cool. So we got Strange number 24 from 1981. Oh, it's got, like, a glossy cover to it. Oh, look, so it's they took that artwork. So this is the first page of I don't know which X-Men that is from, but they took the splash page and then they reprinted it. That is so cool. I love it. That's the coolest ever. Wow, I'm so happy with that. OK, last brick. I'm having so much fun. I'm going to be sad when this is over. I'm definitely going to have to track down more of these. And if you're in France and you want to sell me some French comic books pretty cheap, let me know. I'm very interested. All right, look at that. That Spider-Man cover is awesome. So we have Strange number 131 with a Spidey. I wonder if the Strange is different than the Special Strange. Maybe it's a different series. We got Daredevil, Iron Man, Spidey. So that's cool. I love that cover. That's beautiful. Oh, this is cool too. Okay, we have another Spidey with all his, you know, we got Dr. Octavius, Mysterio, Vulture. We have all his classic villains on the cover there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> this cover is awesome. Strange number 108. We have Iron Man. I just, I love the way it looks. It is beautiful. Oh, I love that. That is gorgeous. Oh, this is cool. Check it out. We got the thing with, I don't know who that Hydra or uh, one of the villain groups holding onto the thing and then they're flying away with Daredevil. That is awesome. Does it have a poster in it? I'm not sure if it has a poster. Is it saying something about poster? I'm not sure. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I wonder if this reprints the uh, Death of Green Goblin. So we got Spider-Man's holding Gwen Stacy. We got Green Goblin flying over here. Is this a reprint of that issue? I got to look. Because that's cool if it's a reprint of a key issue. 
Okay, we got Iron Man. Spidey, what's going on here? Okay, so we got... Looks like Gwen Stacy's funeral. That's, uh... Okay, we have Luke Cage fighting Spidey. I think that's 120 or 122. Maybe that's after. Maybe it's the issue after Green Goblin's death. Because I know the Luke Cage issue is around there. And then there's another issue... Yeah, so these are the ones I think after his death. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, this one's cool too. Check it out. Okay, so the Hulk was smashing Spidey in the head with a big girder. Oh, uh, when if I was a kid, I would have fallen in love. I mean, I'm okay. I'm 42 and I'm falling in love with this cover. <laughs> I like the idea of girders when I was a kid. I was really into girders for some reason. So this cover speaks to me. Oh, wow. This cover is awesome, too. Check it out. We got Daredevil. We got Black Widow. I'm not 100% sure who they're fighting. But I love the way the cover looks. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, the last one. Okay. <laughs> we have one more Iron Man cover. Beautiful. Oh, I really, really love these. These are so awesome. I'm so happy to have these. I can't wait to get more. Oh, definitely. I think the Dark Phoenix ones are definitely my favorite. Uh, definitely all these X-Men ones. Definitely these two are my favorite out of this batch. So happy to have these. Those are so cool. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. I hope that I can do more videos like this for you guys in the future. Because I really love the idea of collecting more international comic books and more stuff like this. And just exploring the world of pop culture. I love pop culture and I know so much about American pop culture that I kind of want to learn more about and collect more about pop culture around the world especially american pop culture how it's translated into other countries and this was a ton of fun so hopefully i have more videos like this for you in the future i want to thank emmanuel again for selling me this collection for a good price i want to thank robert again for having the group so that i could find this collection i also want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel with their help i'm motivated to do more videos like this if you want to help support my channel as well I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you kind of enjoy this international comic call, why don't you click the robot's face and subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos like this for you. I'm going to put a couple other comic book calls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.